Hey, what is up Flipsters? Welcome back to the channel. We have got another banging before and after transformation video. Stick around to the end for this one. This may look like a sweet, nice, normal house, but believe me, you will be shocked at what's inside. I mean, this whole house is full of glass. You got the mirrors on top of the mirrors. They're just shoving them anywhere they can find space. What? The actual F is going on here. Dude, what is that noise? I think we've been bamboozled. They hid this from us. <laughs> Oh! Okay, well, tell me about this one. It looks really nice, cute, <laughs> sweet. Well, we are in the red hot Allendale district of North Austin. This is a 1,000 square foot. Ooh, petite. Petite little house. It's one bedroom, technically, maybe more, you'll see. What have you done? It has got two bathrooms, and this bad boy was built in 1994. And don't forget, we bought the house for $516,000. So, first impressions. I mean, I think we need a new color palette, but it's got some character, it's got some charm. Yeah, like this old mailbox, look at here. Yeah, the Eagle, US Mail, what's not to love? I think the thing's got curb appeal, honestly. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. Let's check out the inside. Whoa, what do we have here? I think we just entered a portal back to 1994. <laughs> What is going on with these angles? Yeah, it's kind of funky right when you walk in. Wow, I just keep looking at the light fixtures. Look at all of them. Yeah, you got the bubbles up in the light fixture. You got this like geode. It's, uh, look at this thing, it's bedazzled. Like light bright. Yeah. Remember the light brights? Yeah. The like give me a fan, but make it a light bright version. Can we talk about this fireplace? Oh, succulent. This is the brightest fireplace. You've got undermount hey. lighting. There's lighting in the fireplace. How does that even work? What is even happening here? Are those, those are glowing? These they're are, glow yes. oh, they're light. Look, it's a rope light into this lamp. This is the house of mirrors. Did you notice you've even got mirrors in the fireplace to just reflect I the heat mean, back to you? What is happening above the fireplace? It's like a display area? That's a chimney. Right, but to the side of it, usually it's all a wall up yeah. there, right? Yeah. I don't know, and what was hanging there? Oh, they definitely had some art up there high up. You think it was art? No way, it was mirrors. <laughs> mirrors. It was totally mirrors. Why would it not be? Great point. Unlike the DIY house, this is not a built-in carpet. They dug into the wood floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To lay a rug. Yes. And then framed it out with trim. Yeah. But look. You got oh. two tone floors. How long has this carpet been down here? Since 1994? Oh my God. Or did they actually stain that? Or has it just been here so long? I don't know. Yeah, so this is just like a PSA. Um, if you haven't moved your rug in, I don't know, a decade, maybe scooch it around a little bit, you know? Things change. I think we got tricked. I think, <laughs> I think we've been bamboozled. They hid this from us. <laughs> okay, moving on to the kitchen. Got a little breakfast nook. Yeah, this is nice. Again, with the uh, overhead lighting and these shutters. This one's seen better days. In the kitchen, pantry, of course, with glass shelving. Awesome. What is this? <laughs> is it a light? Uh, is it a skateboard? It, it looks- What in the world? It's like you're super zoomed in on like one of those Japanese, it's like a koi fish painting or something. Also, can we talk about the floor? <laughs> What is this? What they the have, actual F is going on here? We've chipped up the floors and put in river rocks that we painted over a crosswalk pattern. Oh my God. I think they should have put a rug over this. Forget uh, the living room you, floor. But this you guys- is what they should have covered you up. You can't see the texture. This is actually slightly raised from the floor. This like, is giving me DIY house vibes. Yes. You got your glass doors. These people love them some glass. <laughs> I mean. And what kitchen would be complete without your own giant mirror? Reflecting back all your insecurities. House of mirrors. All the time. House of horrors. It is a house you of mirrors. You got striped glass. Oh. Display shelves over there. Wow. Either someone was like trying to feel like they had twice as much house here. Or super vain. Yeah. I don't know. Get a YouTube channel instead. Oh, speaking <laughs> of, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button for our egos. Thank you. And the one piece of glass I actually do like. I'm digging the window. That. This Look is this. awesome. Big old picture window, natural light. Now that's a feature. Okay, moving on. What even is this room? You've got the glass block peek through. Is this one of the bedrooms? <laughs> Is That's this a one bedroom house? Great question. Um, it's got a closet. You say closet, but it's set up almost like a desk space. Look, you've got a 
pull through this. This is like an office with, with the uh, fluorescent lighting and everything. Yeah, it's a little. I'm getting out of here. It's bad lighting. Yeah, this is bad lighting. Oh, check this out too. You got the glass door. I mean, this whole house is full of glass. Over here, we got a glass bathroom. Now, this is one door I think you'd want a little bit more privacy on. The, uh... <laughs> it's opaque. Well, hold on, let me go in here and see how <laughs> opaque that is. Yeah, this door didn't leave enough to the imagination. I don't know what they're thinking here. We cannot sell a house where there's any light coming out of this bathroom, so we're gonna need a fully solid door on this. I can see some movement. You see, you get the gist of what I'm doing in here. <laughs> right. This is not okay, people. Do not put a glass door on the bathroom. And what's happening here? Cause you got a mirror on top of a mirror. Is this like mirror inception? <laughs> Moving on from Moving the bathroom. On. Okay, so off the hall, we've got another room. More mirrors and glass. You got mirrors on the door. You got what happened here? You got two-tone carpet situation. Something happened here. Look, you can even, you can, this is like an archeology, span uh, you know, find. You can see, you can, the faint outline of what was here before, and they, they couldn't even move it when they redid the carpet or the baseboards. Like, they didn't even try. They just left it on yeah. top of this. You so. got, like, a very, I would call that an exterior door. That's a very wide door to the exterior. Very glassy. Um. Okay, so this is a, Bedroom, potentially? I hope, there's only two of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, moving on. Well, let's go check out the primary bedroom. <laughs> oh! It's like, it's like you know it's coming, and uh, yet... <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Let's start with positive. Okay. The one normal light fixture in this entire house. And I'm digging these two windows. Yeah, they're actually pretty nice. Nice it, size. I always like when a corner window meet. And when you know they don't value their privacy, this is like... Full on. All eyes on me right here. <laughs> okay, we gotta address this. Can we call it an accent wall? I'm sorry, but this is I just... do kind of like the horizontal stripe. It breaks up the full mirror. Okay, <laughs> always something positive to if find. If you're going for a full wall of mirrors, and why is this all like a raccoon has been here? These are like fingernail claws. Somebody's trying to get in or out. They're trying to get out. Moving on. Moving on. To the bathroom. If you didn't have enough mirrors in the rest of your house, if you weren't sure what you were looking like, you got the mirrors on top of the mirrors. Right. And okay. the rest of the bathroom is hideous. That's my commentary. And these beige square tiles and whatnot, it's just weird. Okay, and here, this is a big size closet. Oh yeah. For a we'll walk in. small house, that's a lot of closets. For a one bedroom home, yeah. basically. This is a huge closet. Let's go see the garage. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to make use of it. Okay. What is that noise? That would be the light fan uh, garage. Does it smell like hamsters in here? It kind of does. Look at this. <gasps> what garage will be complete? Without a mirror. They're just shoving them anywhere that they can find space. You know how much I hate a garage conversion. This is such a small house and the price per foot is so high and you've only got like one bed, two bath. You need more square footage and I just think this is our best option. So what do you think I put a bedroom, bathroom? We got water access. I think you're gonna have to have your bed, bath, and beyond in here. You're gonna have to do a washer and dryer. I think they sell mirrors at Bed Bath & Beyond. To make this project work, we're gonna to have to convert that garage into the primary suite. That's gonna take quite a bit to make it look natural. We're gonna to have to bring the floor so it's level with the rest of the house, work on the exterior so it looks like it belonged all along. A lot of work ahead, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the end. Okay, so demo's done. I love a good demo montage, right? <laughs> I mean, that was a lot of work. So here's gonna be your layout, basically. You're gonna have a row of cabinets coming around the perimeter here with a big island. You can really start to see how the space is gonna open up. We've still gotta get rid of this wall. Now you can kind of see the connection between what was the fireplace that bedroom and the kitchen. Yeah, still got a little ways to go on demo, but we have taken down all the mirrors. Yes, it was worth the bad luck. All the lights. Yeah. And most of the fireplace. Still got a little bit of ways to go. You can start to see how much room we now have to work with for sort of the kitchen dining combo space, yeah? I think this is the move and I'm super excited about it. Okay, so not much has changed in the garage, but I think we got a solid plan for how we're gonna convert this to make it feel as natural as possible. Still smells like hamsters in here, so we gotta work on that. But yeah, I'm excited to get the design plan going for this one because I think it's gonna be awesome. Let's 
talk about the design plan for the House of Mirrors. As far as cosmetics, this is gonna be a really fun one. We are going to be using this white oak on both the kitchen island and in the bathroom. Anytime I can use white oak, I love doing that. It's on trend, buyers love it. Who doesn't love it? It's great. Speaking of that island, we are gonna do waterfall countertops on both sides, which I think is gonna look really nice. The exterior cabinetry, we're gonna go with a light mint green color. I think it'll be just a little nice, fun element, playful surprise. Pair that with the quartz countertops and just a nice, simple backsplash. Now, there will be tons of natural light in this space because we are gonna be adding two skylights. Now, normally I'm not a fan of skylights, but these I think are gonna be great because they're gonna be at the angle of the roof and it's gonna actually be a thin piece of glass versus sometimes with a skylight, it's a tube situation and it's not aesthetically pleasing, but I think these will look good and serve to function lots of natural light in this space, which is great. Moving over to the bathrooms, in that addition that is actually gonna be the primary suite, we are gonna do some really fun, bold geometric patterns. We've got some nice big hexagon tile to go in the bathroom floor and then in the shower, we'll continue that same pattern in a smaller format for the shower floor. Moving over to what was formerly the primary bedroom, we are gonna do a really fun shower. We're gonna run this nice kind of navy blue tile vertically. I think it's gonna look really good. Throughout the house, we are doing an engineered wood flooring in this white oak color as well. I think that's really gonna tie all the spaces together. And throughout the house, we'll be using our favorite matte black hardware. So I'm super excited to see how this one turns out. If you wanna follow us on Instagram, we are always sharing mood boards of projects we're working on. And if you love design, it's the place to be. All right, so back at the House of Mirrors, we are framing out that garage addition. You just saw us pour the concrete so that the slab will be level with the rest of the house. Now we're framing out for the windows that will go above the bathroom and the primary bedroom. The framing is starting today. You're gonna actually start to see how this thing is gonna take shape. Right now I'm standing in what will be your bedroom, but as you walk in here, this will open up to a new primary bathroom, vanity, toilet, big old shower over there, and then your primary closet over in the corner. I think this is gonna be a primo use of space. Other big upgrade is we actually closed off this wall where it was open. Now you're gonna be able to properly use this as an actual bedroom. This thing's gonna be a three bed, three bath, which is a huge upgrade. All right, a lot going on here today. Yeah, we got the plumbers here, they're doing their work and a lot has happened since the last time we were here. We've got new doors going on the back of the house and we have framed out for this massive slider. I wanna show you guys the addition in the garage because now we've actually got drywall up and you can really see what this space is gonna feel like. Let's go check it out. All right, so as you can tell, this does not look like a garage anymore. It's actually your primary suite. You got your bathroom over here, and actually we had to accommodate the washer and dryer within the primary closet. So that was a little bit of a sacrifice, but I think it works. We put a pocket door on here to kind of maximize the space and be able to shut this off. I think it's gonna work. And the primary bathroom is gonna be a showstopper because the shower is so special. We are doing the side-by-side -side tandem shower, okay? For you, you guys who don't like to shower alone, I don't know. First time doing this, what do you think? And if you guys are new here, we're not just flipping houses for ourselves anymore. We started a company called Homemade, where we're actually helping you guys find your own projects to renovate. So if you guys have always wanted to flip a project of your own, but you don't know where to begin, or you just need a little bit of that extra help getting started, we work with you every step of the way. We did it remotely from California. It was great because the Homemade team would always update us, send us photos, so we knew where we were at in the process. We'd know when the hangups were happening. And the stress level, I feel like for us, was way less. They've just done this time and time again. They know exactly what they're doing and you can have the trust in that. So if you're interested in flipping a house, go ahead and click the link below, homemade.co, to learn more about our company. We would love to work with you. All right, time for the big reveal on this thing. In three, two, one. Okay, well, I think she looks good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, pretty significant transformation out here. I think this new roof, it's dark, it's black, it really pops, yeah? Totally, I love the color scheme of the paint that we went with, it's fresh and clean. And we kept some Old Faithfuls here. America, I actually like this thing, it's sturdy. Yeah, I think matching the brick really makes the garage conversion feel cohesive, feel like it was always there. Totally, I forgot that was a garage. Got this big, nice craftsman door on the front, love that. So let's head on inside, because transformation there is incredible. All right. Wow, look at this place. It hits you right when you walk in. Oh my gosh, I'm loving all the natural light. I'm so glad we ended up putting those skylights in. Hold on, we just gotta take stock of where we are <laughs> right now. Where are we? We are in a whole new world here. <laughs> totally, major layout changes on this one. If you'll recall, there was actually a fireplace right here in the middle of the house. Just gunking up the whole thing. I mean, those things are not easy to take out, people. I don't know if we got footage of that thing coming down, but it was a beast to take down this fireplace. Now it's all wide open. Yeah, so the living room is not huge, but I think it's adequately sized for the house and has tons of natural light thanks to these skylights. I love the way we've staged it. It's very functional. When you've opened up this whole space, I think it works and you've got plenty of room. You've got a natural glow from the heavens above. Yeah, look at these things. Is, this is your Instagram lighting for sure. This is where you do all your selfies. In all seriousness, I mean, the layout before just did not work. We actually deleted a bedroom, which is like house slipping no no 101 but we had to do it here to make it work and i think what we ended up with is great okay we got to talk about sort of the kitchen area because it's a showstopper total showstopper this is where everybody's going to come be drawn to naturally hang out i love that we went with this color on the cabinets it's kind of like a subtle sea foamy green yeah. gray it makes me feel like i'm at the ocean uh-huh loving that we ran the elongated hexagonal pickets horizontally stacked all the way to the ceiling on this back wall Say that three times fast. I couldn't, that's a single take and I can't say it ever again. <laughs> I think it looks great. Picture frame, window red, your sink. Let's talk about this island too with the double waterfall. Yes, double waterfall people. We went fancy on this and we have to. We're in a part of town where it demands higher finishes and we want to make sure that we are hitting the comps in the neighborhood and that our house is looking good. And we did go with the natural cabinets on the island to kind of mix it up. Mixing it up with the sea foam and the wood tone. Love that. Totally. So as we discussed before, this where I was standing was a bedroom previously, yes. and I think we needed every square inch in this house. This was a very small house, under a thousand square feet when we started. So every square inch matters and all those internal doors and hallways, like it just was not working. Now you can see out into your living space, you've got a nice little dining nook. It's not overwhelming for a small house and you've got access to your three bedrooms and I think it flows. Yeah, let's go check those out. So major upgrade here was adding the wall <laughs> all the way to the top. Previously, there were windows, which made it sort of an office-y space and not a bedroom. This is a proper bedroom now. It's a real bedroom. And it's got its own little powder room off of it. So this bathroom functions not only as your powder room for guests, but it's also a full bath for this bedroom. I love that we went with the high contrast, black and white, kept the natural cabinets and the quartz counters, large format, marble on the shower. We got our black tile on the floor. Love that. Let's go see what used to be the primary suite and is the primary suite no more. This used to be your primary suite. Now it's a really nice guest suite. Oh, this was so much more than your primary suite, Laura. You're really underselling. This was the fun house. This was this <laughs> is where the magic happened. This There was a lot of self-reflection that <laughs> happened in this house. But now it's a little more toned down. I still love these picture windows in the corner. And we didn't stage it because it's not the primary suite anymore. It's not. It's just the secondary suite now. It's been demoted, but this bathroom has not been demoted. It's been upgraded. This is up. Upgraded. So we did majorly upgrade this bathroom. We actually ran the tile, not just in the shower, but on the wall behind the vanity mirror. That's an added expense, but it really adds to the wow factor. Taking that tile to the ceiling, horizontal pattern. I love the navy blue with the wide grout. Oh, it's looking sharp. Very modern, very clean. I love that. We went with a white hex tile on the floor in a very small pattern in the shower and a larger pattern on the bathroom floor. I think it works again, kept the vanity the same, that natural oak. This bathroom's looking sharp. It's looking clean. One upgrade feature that we did do in all the bedrooms in this house is running that engineered hardwoods. Typically we'll do carpets and bedrooms, but in the higher price points, those extra little touches matter. Love that. Okay, time for the big upgrade, the big add-on, the new primary suite. Let's see. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. 
This space did not exist previously. It was just a bedroom for your car. Previously the garage, now it is your primary suite. The reason that it feels natural to the house is that we made sure that it was at the same level as the rest of the house. Sometimes with additions, people, you're still stepping down and you can tell this was a garage. Yeah, it's so much better. Speaking of that garage, man, do you miss, you miss the dual fans. You had mirrors right in the middle of your garage doors. Wasn't there was there a lot of hamsters? Yeah. I'm remembering hamsters. Mm, okay. <laughs> I don't remember hamsters, but I could be mistaken. Does it smell like hamsters in here? It kind of does. It still smells like hamsters in here, so we got to work on that. So adding this space is a ton of value to the house. What was especially a ton of value is adding this primary bathroom. They are always tricky, and I think this one works pretty well. Let's go see it. Okay, I think this bathroom is a home run. Yeah. It is huge. It's nice. It's upgraded. Now you got plenty of storage. You got the double vanities. You've got the double shower. You not only have the double vanities, you've got double sides to the vanity. Usually a double vanity, you got fight share for that middle space. Yay, you're up, over here. Wow, so much storage, so many hair products and combs. Plenty of surface area to work with. Speaking of, check out this shower. We got the dual shower heads. This thing is Texas size. Okay, this is weirdness. We've not done one of these before. A lot of togetherness. I don't know, what do you think? I'm loving it. It's very modern, very cool. Love the big black hex tile. I think it works. All ties together. I think all in all, this is a fun one. We gotta get out of here. We need to talk about the wrap up, the numbers, the whole kit and caboodle. Let's do it. All right, y'all, let's talk about the final numbers on the project. So we bought the house for $516,000. Her remodeling and holding costs were $127,000 for a total investment in the project of $643,000. The property sold for $708,000. So after $28,000 of holding costs, that left us a profit of $37,000. So if you like this video and you're into all things home renovation, go ahead, subscribe to our channel and check out our new podcast, Austin Flipster. Ooh, a podcast? A podcast. We're taking you behind the scenes on our projects as well as our best tips and tricks on real estate investing. And we've even got a few guests on there. Make sure you check out the link in the description and we'll see you there. Peace.